you can always create something cool regardless of where you are in your programming journey and to showcase that i have a really simple uh, web app you can call it uh, which i made using just html css and javascript it's called markdown to html it's hosted on search which is a static web hosting provider uh, it what it does is really simple it converts your uh, markdown to html that you can easily copy and do stuff with and yeah it's really easy to use it so <laughs> this if you are not familiar with uh, markdown markdown is basically a language syntax that uh, most popular with uh, programmers it if you download an application which might be open source I'm sure you'll find something called a readme.md file yeah that MD file is markdown so markdown is basically a easy way to write HTML uh, it makes HTML quite easy actually I mean as you can see typing out these two lines was far easier than typing out this whole html uh, language so i basically uh, use this to write my blog i write the markdown here and just copy the html i actually have a predefined uh, css file that uh, is not class specific to style it better if i just uh, navigate to my projects uh, hopefully i can show you that uh, yeah let me just uh, subble that as you can see it's a really simple css file it's not even that huge it does use a few classes but that's for uh, more of specific stuff as you can see uh, it also styles the bi element bi is uh, the bootstrap icons one of my favorite uh, icons and yeah it does little customizations like that but for the most part it is quite global so using this i am going to be showing you some pretty cool stuff uh, recently i've been uh, working on a unofficial uh, blog uh, to write that i decided to use normal html css and javascript and one of the easiest way i found to do this was well use this so i just wanted to showcase yeah all of this is actually just uh, styled on its own and since i didn't type it out i use except the share bar that i had to do it but yeah you get the point I mean, it, it's it's pretty cool what you can do with this so without any further ado let's get into it uh, let me quickly make a directory call it mark uh, let me open that in one of my favorite editors mark. it's vs code and uh, yep let me just quickly create index.html that's what i'll be needing for the most part here uh, let me quickly use the emit syntax to do that uh, and uh, let's just call it mark now to do this we are going to be using a very simple uh, javascript library that is publicly available to use that you can just use the link here it's called mark mark.js.org and this basically converts your uh, markdown into raw html in the sense raw html like this yeah now to use it in the browser you just copy the script here go into your browser quickly and just paste it in as simple as that now to do this i'll also be using uh, jquery which is a really popular J oops i'm sorry for typing that uh, i'll be using jquery which is a very simple uh, javascript library it basically simplifies stuff for uh, easy uh, sort of long javascript commands that's the best way i can put it i'm sorry uh, let me just remove the weird uh, syntax in here second that and yeah we are set to go now this is a very simple project i am going to just use the emf syntax to give myself two basic text areas we'll call one text and we'll call the other one content the ids are same they inherit yeah that should do let me just quickly make the script tag and uh, use a little bit of jquery magic to ready up my html and 
we are we are set to go now basically what we do is whenever a user types something oh i'm sorry into the text text area we are going to execute a function now there are many ways you can do this but the best way i like to do in jquery is key up and we pass an anonymous function and uh, sometimes jquery acts weird uh, when you pass it in as argument for mark for some reason i'm not really sure i haven't gone through the source code for mark.js so it's just better to shift to regular html so we just do document element by id uh, content we actually want to change the value of the content element and we just use a pre-built function that uh, comes from the marked script we say mark.parse document dot uh, oops sorry my purse is acting weird get element by id text oh, i just forgot yeah this should now work if i just save that and i go live I'm using the live server uh, extension for VS Code. If I go YouTube, first there's a problem. What's the problem, my dude? This is input area is okay. Uh, what's the problem? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I par I just passed in the object. I had to pass in the value. Yeah, now that works awesome. As you can see. I'm just typing out uh, markdown stuff here and it's getting converted uh, let me just extend that yeah as you can see it is quite awesome now for some quick uh, styling uh, I can just make a whole other CSS directory but since we are going to be doing so much so many uh, we are not going to be doing much of styling you can do that if you are interested if someone's interested make a whole as uh, bootstrap website a beautifully designed one and send a link to me but uh, we are just going to be using system ui uh, let me just set the font size to i know 24 no let me just do that in rm and uh, text line uh, center obviously and uh, we are going to do the p uh, small to c yeah we are going to be using uh, sheriff just sheriff font size is i don't know 12 pixels um, um, yeah. and the text area this is the main important styling part we just go font family i think i have fira code installed in my system but uh, just for fun let's go for your new as well font size i think 12 pixel looks fine and uh, hopefully that should be yeah let me just set the width to 100 percent although i think the height i should manually change it here and now if i do this boom that looks better already let me just do a quick uh, uh, instruction here write your mark down here let me just do a quick down emoji there and space there and h1 copy your html yeah. yep that looks perfect uh, hopefully it works still yeah as you can see it works awesome now uh, you can this is obviously a beginner project so you can do this on your own and uh, if although you can uh, use my pre-made one i do plan of styling it a bit better but the sheriff font i just kept it like that by default as you can see it works fine it's just mark.search.sh and yeah hopefully you had uh, fun and you learned something new i mean come on this is a 40 line html document which gets you that cool website so hopefully you try it out on your own and if you do please be sure to comment so i can check it out and anyways hope you enjoyed that uh, see you in the next one and uh, hopefully you have fun trying out this new project okay thanks for watching just like the street lights lit this time like a fire in a blaze gotta burn it down can't be afraid to leave this out we got this far
Don't know how 